What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, the finale, we finished off the final trial, we got the happy ending, and it was a blast. I rambled a lot about just really enjoying this game, and it was probably a little bit much for you guys, but I don't know, I guess I can't help myself. That's that's me for, for you. <laughs> uh, but in this episode, we're going to go over some of the bonus things. I'd like to show off the two other endings, the normal ending, if you beat the game without getting all the parts, but get all the essential parts. And then if you beat the game, um, or I guess run to the end of the 30 days without getting enough parts to make it off and get the bad ending. So those are the first two things I'd like to show. And then the other things I'd like to show off are the journal entries. We've seen days 13 and 14 in one of the previous episodes, but everything after that is has not been shown. So I'd like to run through that um, eventually. And yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. All right, this should be the normal ending. I have only 29 parts. The only one missing is the secret safe, and we are on day 30. Yeah, it's gonna take a good look at this area. Maybe you haven't, didn't have the chance to see it. You can access one or two more, you know, bomb rocks there, but otherwise it's not particularly helpful. But yeah, let's, let's give it a go. I actually, wait, I can't go to sunset? I have to wait until the day is over? I guess you can't go to sunset on the very last day. Well, looks like I've got a, I don't know, 10, 12 minute time sink. I actually haven't seen this ending in like forever, or I honestly don't even remember it. So I don't know how different it's going to be. If it's going to be different, it, well, it should be different. But uh, I don't know how different it'll be. But I guess, I guess we'll see. Through the power of editing, I'll fast forward to when you guys will actually be interested. I guess something interesting I never showed off is that if you hit the D-pad, you can have Olimar lay on the ground, and then the Pikmin will pick him up like an object. They'll take him back to their onion. And that happens. <laughs> just kind of a funny thing. Or if you want, you could just go lay down somewhere. I guess while passing the time. I'll go find a good place to chill with Olimar. <laughs> Maybe... I don't know, maybe up on this rock here. There's plenty of water around us. Again, guys, I'm truly just trying to fill the time. My bad. Alright, it's finally time. <laughs> Wake up from your nap, Olimar. This, this bonus video, I expect it to be significantly uh, less time consuming, just to show a couple different endings, but... But here we are! Hoping for the best. Let's see what this ending is. The day when my life support system fails has come. I have collected only 29 out of 30 ship parts. I have no choice but to attempt to launch the dolphin into space, incomplete as it is. The ship doesn't need every lost part in order to fly. For better or worse, I must go. I don't know if you guys saw like the fireworks in the background or whatever, but... This is very different. The music's a little bit more, like, hesitant, almost. And we don't get a, a goodbye from the Pikmin, unfortunately. The Pikmin are like, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna get out of the atmosphere? What's he doing? He's been here for way too long. But it looks like we're managing. Alright. So Olimar still makes it out. To be expected, we were only missing one part, the very final part. I mean, realistically, the dolphin is flying fine. 
Olimar is just coming home a little bit shortchanged, right? <laughs> So it looks like the credits are going to be the same, so probably to see you guys at the ending cutscene, which will probably be different. Just no happy there. So, again, <laughs> Olimar makes it out. I'd say he's still pretty happy to just make it out in the first place, but no, it's not quite the happy end where he comes back with a full secret safe of change. So there you have it. That's the, the normal but successful, but still successful ending. And next up is going to be the bad ending. I don't know if there's a different bad ending for reaching 30 days without uh you know getting enough parts or for or if it's the same or different for i guess running out of hp i don't know what happens in that case so i'll find out for you guys all right it's finally time man this, this is taking a lot longer than i expected but gotta do it for the the completion gotta show all the game has to offer and i honestly haven't seen the wrong ending since I was a kid, it's probably been a good 15 years or so. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see. Here we go. The day when my life support system fails has come. I've collected only 25 out of 30 ship parts. For better or worse, I must go. So here Almar goes. It's the same hesitant, skeptical, music that makes me not super confident that things are going to work out. Oh, that seemed like a shaky launch. It really seemed shaky. Let's see. Is he going to be able to launch off into space, or is he going to come crashing back down? Moment of truth? Uh-oh. That does not give me any sort of confidence. Oh no! It putters out and falls right back down. And so it gives us the final analysis screen. Again, we were missing some of the essential parts there. So we'll save that. It still keeps track of your final analysis and everything, so you can continue to improve and compare previous runs. <laughs> this music! So they're taking- they take Olimar to the Onion, and the Onion accepts him? What? And they spit out a little- a little Olimar Pikmin? <laughs> That's actually really funny. So Olimar becomes a Pikmin. Wow, okay, so that's the, the bad end. Wow, that's actually hilarious. Um, Olimar comes crashing back down and the Pikmin take him to their onion and he spouts or sprouts a leaf on his head and joins them. Looks like he's there to stay. So I think that covers all of the different endings. I guess one last thing I'd like to show off is the journal entries. We've seen what happens, you know, the different endings. 
You can take a look, there are now two files that are at the day 30. We can take a look at Olimar's voyage log, and we had gotten to day 14, I believe, in the regular playthrough, so we'll start off with 15. 15 days since impact. When I see the Pikmin engaged in fierce battle with the other creatures of this world, I often grow uneasy, wondering why they never attack me. Could it be that they actually view me as a parental figure? A strange, disturbing thought. 16 days since impact. I wonder if I shall ever be able to escape from this world. How much suffering must I endure before I can finally see my family get family back home again? Still, when my heart grows too heavy, I take comfort in my efforts. I will get home, or I will expire trying. So desperate, but oh, look at that drawing on the side. 17 days since impact. The creatures of this planet breathe a deadly poisonous gas. Oxygen. At present, my spacesuit can filter the oxygen out, but if the batteries for my life support system should fail, I shudder to think about it. And then the cute little pictures of the, the suit. It's funny that it's sort of like inverse, right? In that they're filtering out the oxygen. 18 days since impact. No matter how many of their compatriots fell, fall in battle, the Pikmin fight on. Would this have been a peaceful planet had I never come? No. Surely the Pikmin lived like this before my arrival. They must have. In any case, I must not waver if I hope to return home. My task now is to do whatever I can to recover all of the dolphin's missing parts. 19 days since impact. I wonder if these Pikmin were waiting for me to arrive. No. Not necessarily me, but an alien being, like me, who could fight alongside them. On this planet, they are a weak species, but maybe they see that they can use the power of an alien brain to climb to the top of the natural order. Such ideas make me wonder if it isn't I who is being used by them. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 20 days since impact. It has been 20 days since I crashed on this planet. My reflection in the mirror is looking a little gaunt. And to think my wife warned me not to gain too much weight on this vacation. Ha! The thought makes me chortle. Chortle, what a word. <laughs> she would surely be surprised to see me now. It feels as if it has been many years since I saw her last. 21 days since impact. This is an ever surprising ecosystem. What has caused this planet's vegetation to grow in such gigantic proportions? In comparison to the Pikmin and the other creatures of this planet, the scale of the plant life here seems inexplicable. Perhaps long ago, creatures of incomprehensible size walked the surface of this planet. Just imagine! 22 days since impact. Occasionally, when I look behind me, I make some very amusing discoveries. The Pikmin all seem to follow me in the same fashion, but there are always individual specimens that end up performing the wrong actions. I suppose if there are agile, capable Pikmin, there must also be clumsy, dim po pic I almost said Pokemon, wow. Pikmin as well. That is the natural way of things. 23 days since impact. My people were born out of the sea of stars to come down to Hokote. And when we complete our lives, we're retur we return to the great ocean of stars. But since these Pikmin come from the depths of the soil, surely to the soil they shall return. How very poetic. While it is all alien to me, the basic premise is universally beautiful. I love how Olimar is basically portraying what we consider so just intrinsic to life and death for humans as an alien concept. 24 days since impact. At times, these seemingly emotionless Pikmin act with a blind urgency. For instance, the Pikmin who so tirelessly dig up grass. What could be driving them to do so? Is it merely the promise of a sweet taste of nectar? Or is it some base instinct that is beyond my capacity to understand? Will I ever know? Probably not. Or maybe, I guess, unless you don't. If you don't recover enough parts, very likely. 25 days since impact. At first glance, the Pikmin have such innocent faces. But this is misleading. They can actually be surprisingly whimsical. After leaving the group, they dig up plants on their own and frolic about, sometimes never returning the onion. When I find none following me, I begin to worry. I must pay careful mind to their movements. 26 days since impact. Gradually, my repairs of the ship continue. The ship is like a part of me. One could even say that it is tied to my very essence. Yes, it was a long, one might say epic, journey. Going from mere repairman to captain of my own ship. But now I'm rambling. 27 days since impact. Looking from this planet into the skies above, I see the pale white moon floating overhead. It brings to mind memories of the moon from back home. I bet that even now my wife and children are sitting at home, gazing up at our pale red moon. Hang on, dear ones. Your Olimar will return someday. 28 days since impact. When I'm surrounded by legions of Pikmin, I always picture the face of my boss, the head of the pilot union. He was always so sharp-tongued with his orders, but I imagine he must have felt much the way that I do now. It's funny how a change in perspective can bring with it a deeper understanding of others. Oof, Olimar getting awfully profound. Day 29. Or 29 days since impact. Tomorrow is the day my life support system fails. If I do not recover all of my parts, I have no choice but to try to blast off. Missing a few parts may not affect my attempts to return to Hokote, but then again it may. At any rate, I must try to recover the remaining parts tomorrow. And then of course the last diary entry doesn't save because it's the final one. 
And so with that, um, I guess I guess we can vaguely see. Nah, I don't feel like going in to see what happens when Olimar uh, runs out of HP. I'm sure it's just a quick game over, or it immediately goes to sunset. I'll think on challenge mode. I'm admittedly not leaning towards it because I really like playing the game in the context of the story and I'm not sure I'd enjoy challenge mode or I might get sucked into it too much who knows but um, I think we might just leave it at that for the let's play then thank you so much to those of you who watched this bonus episode we're curious to see what the different endings were and to see what the different journal entries are again I raved at the end of the finale about how much character and personality this game has and it's those journal entries that add so much to it so um, I think it really does contribute to one's you know, perception of the game and experience with it. And again, I love those different endings. It's so funny seeing Olimar as a Pikmin itself. I, uh, yeah, I haven't seen that in forever, but that's definitely the original ending I got. After seeing it again, I definitely recall that was, that was my first experience with completing, you can't see my air quotes, Pikmin. But anyways, really enjoyed this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it too and are looking forward to whatever it is of mine you decide to watch next. But until that episode, let's play, whatever it may be, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>